OM3, it's OMC. We got the visit. Old man coffee. <laughs> So today it's Thursday and you know what's on Thursday? For some of us it's regular showing at uh, Troopers Thursday game. We are following a day in a life of old man coffee. Yeah right. <laughs> We're gonna be in his boots, his shoes and his pants <laughs> checking how is the old man coffee's life on Thursday. Now tell me this, Old Man Coffee, how yeah. much coffee do you really drink? Quite a bit. You do? So yeah. you're okay using that name, it's not like fake? Oh no, no, I, I started out with Old Man Coffee uh, using the name based on the style of play of an OMC, an Old Man Coffee. Yeah, yeah, uh, poker, yeah. Kind of a nitty kind of player, <laughs> which I am, so yeah, it follows real well. But I do drink a lot of coffee, in fact, I now uh, have an affiliate with uh, Javi Coffee. Yeah, I just saw yeah, that your saw new it. new adventure, some coffee extract that it's you can mix in cold or warm water. Cold or warm, yeah. And instantaneous pleasure. Right away, really good. Uh, I'm actually experimenting right now with uh, frappuccinos, so uh, uh -huh. stay tuned for that. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's interesting. And uh, you normally representing the old people poker players and coffee people world right you're the perfect mix uh, spokesman for well thank you anybody's coffee <laughs> <laughs> tell me now poker we never touched that when did you start playing poker i would say uh, you mean live poker or poker online because i started playing poker online oh before live you started online oh yeah yeah I so played, then that uh, is like uh, Beginning of 2000 something. Yeah, Poker Stars. I was. Oh, uh, Poker Stars, like really, 2003, really, four. Yeah, three or four, right yeah. in that area. So, what was your nickname on Poker Stars? I can't. I don't remember. You don't remember? I don't remember. I don't remember what mine was. I have no idea. Really? I can't remember. How many times you deposited? I only deposited one time. Hmm. And how long did I that last? I deposited uh, fifty dollars in, in uh, Poker Stars, and. When I, when Black Friday hit, and um, or whatever they call that, when the whole thing fell out, you know, the bottom fell out of uh, online poker, yeah. I ended up cashing out two hundred dollars from Poker Stars. I played very small stakes. So you you finished positive. Yes, I did. Two hundred. Yep. Overall. Well, one hundred and fifty. Yeah. For five, six, seven years that you. Yeah. 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 Okay. So so then that was two thousand. But uh, uh, at what time you worked as a dealer down in uh, Laughlin? In Laughlin, I worked as a dealer. I, I dealt in the pit. In yeah. Laughlin, I started working in 1985. Oh, 85. At the Riverside Casino. I actually had just left the sheriff's office there in mm -hmm. uh, in Mojave County and uh, was on unemployment at the time. And I had to fill out forms to um, stay on unemployment. So I went to the casino and told them I just need to sign this form, I'm looking for work. And they said, you're hired. So I worked security really? at uh, the Riverside Casino. And after about six months, I learned how to deal and went to dealing uh, blackjack. So from uh, being sheriff deputy, it was easy to get a security job in casino. Very easy. Yeah, and Very then easy. somehow you transfer to being a dealer. And then you moved to the other one, uh, that's Harris. Today, yes, I opened right? I opened Harris Casino when it opened. I think it was in around 90, I think, right around in that time. Yeah. Uh, and um, I opened that. Uh, <laughs> first time I'd ever worked day shift. I wanted to work day shift. I went there and worked day shift. And I was sorry that I was working day shift. All the bosses are on day shift. They would stand there and they would stand there with a, uh, a stopwatch and we would be dealing blackjack and it was time us on how many hands we'd get out uh -huh. in a minute. Yeah, I hated that. I hated it. Uh, eventually I, tra I, I changed to um, uh, swing shift. Went back to swing shift. That's my favorite shift. Yeah. And then after that I went to work at, uh, at the time it was the 
uh, Flamingo Hill. It's now the uh, Aquarius. Now, but it was oh, a Flamingo oh, oh. Hill at that time. And um, I dealt there, and I left Laughlin in 1993. And so where did you live in Laughlin? Did you have a RV trailer or something? I, I lived in my RV. I had a 22-foot Pacero, and I lived in Bullhead City. Oh, okay. In an RV, RV park. In right, City, in an RV right. park. So how were the tips in those days? Was it uh, was it meaningful, you know, to do well, that job? Well, uh, yes, it was good. It was a good job. Um, we got tipped real well. Um, the IRS came in after they went through the strip in Vegas. They came down to the river. They hit all of us, and turned out that I owed them fourteen thousand dollars in back huh. pay uh, because they calculated our tips at twelve dollars an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And then after I, then ninety three, I was on my sailboat, sailed from. Canyon yeah, yeah. Island to Biloxi, Mississippi, and then I went to work in Biloxi, Mississippi, uh, dealing there at the Grand Casino, and I dealt there for 11 years. When I was in Biloxi, Mississippi, uh, I started playing poker there at the uh, uh, the Beau Rivage, and uh, what the other ones? Oh, the Golden Nugget was there. It was after uh, no smoking was. Uh, all the rooms were no smoking at that point, so I said, well, start playing live poker. Start playing at the Scarlet Pearl. Uh, that's the first place I started out just playing in low stakes. Um, I bought into $25 tournaments, and that's how I learned ah. to, um, to play, uh, get the fundamentals down about the uh, etiquette and all yeah. this stuff about it. Uh, and difference between online yes. and live. Yeah, because you online, the, the blinds are posted for you, so you, you don't get a chance <laughs> to... Uh, right. When you came to Las Vegas, did you start at Westgate immediately or that came later? When I, when I uh, left Biloxi and my RV and I drove to Las Vegas, I uh, first first casino I went to was uh, Red Rock, and that was the first casino I played uh, poker at. And then from there, I, I played in just about every room. After I got established in an RV park here in Vegas, I went around and played just all the rooms I wanted to play. I wanted to find out what was the best uh, promotions. Uh, what was, you know, trying to find out the best rooms to play in, so I played them all. And just kind of ended up, I actually, uh, Treasure Island at the time was offering a, you play for 60 hours a week, and they'd pay you $600. Really? Yep. So, for uh, one week? For one week. Jeez. Uh, I know, 60 hours is a lot of hours, but we, we'd fill up the game with uh, guys just basically sit there as one, one, two at the time. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we get in our 60 hours, they pay us $600. Of course, that, that room is closed now, I wonder why. Yeah. Uh, and that was my rent. I uh, was taking care of my rent for a few weeks while I was uh, yeah, yeah. acclimating myself to Vegas. So it nice. really helped me out quite a bit. See, about 60 hours, that's almost like 10, 10 hours per day. The whole week. That's not. Yeah, it, for some idiots, and I was that one, <laughs> doing 17 hours like nothing, you know. Yeah. But uh, I don't have nerves for that anymore. I, I, I you know, I'm working. I'm, I'm doing 30 hours a week right now at the Westgate, and uh, of course that's only five days because they're closed yeah. Tuesday and Wednesday, and that's kind of killing me anyway. But that's a lot uh, still. Yeah, 16. I, so tell me then, uh, how did you meet Trooper, and how did you decide playing that uh, game? Well, uh, I actually watched Trooper. I think, I think before I even came to Vegas, I watched uh, some of his videos. Not a whole lot, a few, and I just thought, well, it'd be interesting to, uh, you know, meet him, I guess. And so when Trooper Thursday started, I met him. Uh, purchased a hat. I still have that hat. I actually had him autograph the hat for me, <laughs> so he signed the hat, and uh, just started playing. Uh, poker there to start playing uh, troopers thursday you see him making videos and they say you say well i can do that right 
Yeah, I actually had the idea to do it before I even got to Vegas. Uh huh. And then after I got to Vegas, I trying to find a name, uh, and then I uh, decided to go with uh, Old Man Coffee when I started watching some of uh, Jamin Burton and uh, some of the other vloggers that were referring to OMCs and Old Man Coffee, and yeah, yeah. so it just kind of fit my lifestyle and my style of play. So I thought. Ah, it was all so coffee. Do you remember making first video? Do you remember anything about it? Uh, yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, some of those first videos, are, <laughs> I deleted some of those first videos. Oh, so, really? Yeah. They, I, uh, some of the first videos I did uh, weren't even on Trooper Thursday. They were at the Westgate. Uh, some of those first ones uh, where they had some of those promos. They had a promo where if you lost with pocket aces, pocket kings, pocket queens, pocket jacks, and pocket tens, all in a seven day period, you had to lose with those hands. All of them. You went you would get they'd pay you four hundred dollars. But you had to lose with each of them. But you had to lose with yeah. every one of them. And I'll tell you, it's not easy sometimes. Everybody says, well, you can lose with pocket <laughs> aces pretty easy. No, you can't. You know, I would get pocket aces. And, and you actually win. I'm, I'm trying to I'm actually win. Yeah. I, but I'm trying to lose. Yeah. And so uh, uh, the, the problem with those type of promos is they don't instill play of any kind. They yeah. they they actually hurt the game because right, right. You're, you're influences trying to lose. and influences yeah. Yeah. the game, what people try to do, yeah. Yeah. So uh, some of the first videos uh, were uh, of those uh, those promos where I played a whole week trying to lose with every hand, all the Broadway hands. Yeah. For me, the worst promo is a bad beat jackpot, which is actually the best, the biggest prize. Right. But for me, it's so irritating that people just keep talking about it. Like every dealer comes, and then somebody smart ass has to go, "Hey, you gonna deal us a black? Uh, I mean, bad beat? Yeah. Sure. Right. Yeah." Order at one. What do you want to have? So those those are irritating for me, just because of people. So, what's the tactic now? We are going to Westgate, right? And we're gonna register. So the tact the plan is, by three o'clock we have to register for one two game online using the Poker Atlas app, because if you register and you're first in first nine on a table. You get 20 bucks. That's correct. And you have to play how long for those 20 bucks? You play one hour. One hour. And then you get to keep the $20. Oh, one now, hour. Now, if you go broke, if you go broke... You can uh, leave. You can leave. Yeah. But you mm -hmm. can't leave for an hour. Yeah. Uh, Whole hour. So when the game starts? At 4? The game actually starts at 4 o'clock, yes. Yeah, yes. okay, we'll see. So let me check the list. Okay, Poker Atlas, Westgate, drawing list, here we go. Oh, no. At the moment when uh, this happened, so only one on the list, so you can sign up. Okay, so I'm joining the list, give me your phone, I'll do you. Yeah. So I, I'm on a list now, let's see. Did you sign up for the 1-2 game? Uh, I did sign up for 1-2. Alright. And... Well, he might get two games going. Man, today, two games. 1-2, yeah. Okay. You're Here we are. D, I, I, DJ I and o, OMC. OMC. Oh. Yep. Oh. And Tommy. So we're in. So here we're going. Yes, we're going. Okay, buddy, thank you for the ride and good luck to you. Well, good luck to See you, you at the table. I'll be merciless. <laughs> so 
So I'm here at the Westgate Poker Room. Game is supposed to start like in 15 minutes.